Hey guys, so you can now install the Android 8 update for your Nokia 8 here. This is the Android Oreo uh, beta and I will leave a link in the description uh, if you want to check it out on the Nokia 8 which is obviously a flagship phone. Uh, so we can have a look here how it looks. You can see you have just installed this uh, and we can see that we are getting now the white uh, like theme here for the notification shade. Uh, which is in line with some other Oreo devices like the XE1 and the Pixel 2. Uh, it's giving you a feedback opportunity here so you can comment on the uh, beta. Really liking the way HMD is you know, taking updates very seriously, uh, getting the latest software on the device as you can see. Uh, so we can just have a look at what else is new here. I have made a list of the things uh, on a uh, screenshot. So you can see it is uh, coming with notification dots now. So I'm assuming those occur when you download something. Uh, let's just try that here. So if we just go to the Play Store. Uh, also, I think you're getting the verification integration now. So what you're downloading is checked uh, to make sure that it's not dodgy or anything. So uh, if you just have a look at that. Does it come up with the circle? So it doesn't come up with the circle like on some other Oreo devices, uh, which is a little bit disappointing because usually it does come up like that. But you can see it does come up with the dot there in the uh, top right corner. So that uh, is obviously quite a nice change. Uh, let's have a look at what else is new here. Just go back into this. Uh, we're getting update to the latest security patch, which is nice. Uh, Google Play Protect security scans, as I mentioned, autofill passwords, and a faster boot up, uh, which I always like to check out the boot up here. So we're going to test that uh, against the uh, Pixel 2. Uh, we just start them both at the same time here. And uh, let's just turn this off. There we go. See which one boots up faster. You can see which one boots up down faster. Uh, so that is going to Nokia. So that uh, obviously didn't start up then. But we can still see, you know, how fast it does boot up. Well, maybe I'm going to do it again actually because it's not very fair. Let's be honest. I do like that wallpaper on the Pixel 2, it actually moves, as you can see, pretty nice, there's a whole load of them like that actually, uh, so let's just go back here, it'd be nice if they brought the Pixel 2 uh, like uh, shut down menu, which looks pretty fresh, so 3, 2, 1, Let's. Wow, that's weird. The power button is on the bottom of the Nokia, on the top of the Pixel 2. That is really confusing. I think I know who's going to win. I mean, look at that. The Pixel 2 just destroys everything when it comes to the boot up. It's literally less than three seconds. Uh, you know, that is probably the best thing about the device, actually. And you can see the Nokia is a little bit quicker here, but you can't hold a candle to the Pixel 2. Is there anything else new? We can just have a quick look here uh, in the settings. So we can see uh, the wallpapers. Uh, I think we have the on-device wallpapers, the ones that you know and love. So those are the uh, Nokia ones. Uh, you also do get access to the Google uh, like wallpapers, which is quite a lot of them here. Uh, so that uh, is quite nice. Uh, so I look at the camera. Cause it mentioned something about uh, a picture on picture, uh, which could be something good. I do think the camera UI is a little bit kind of half baked on the Nokia phones. I think it could be a little bit better. But you can see it takes a shot nice and fast. Uh, let's just uh, see the UI here. So it looks pretty much the same really, not too much in the way of difference. I think they haven't really made many differences here. 
to the actual UI, uh, which is a bit boring, but you know, as long as it works, and from what I've seen, it is quite a decent camera overall. And what else do we have? Let's have a look. See in the settings here, uh, display. So basically, the settings area is uh, a little bit more compact now in terms of the settings. Things are like grouped into different areas and you will see as well in here the software version which is 8.0.0 I think we have 8.0.1 actually uh, which is quite nice available uh, so hopefully they'll get that available as well it is on the pixel only though uh, phone so yeah nice uh, beta here things to come hopefully they'll keep you know, rolling out those updates nice and fast uh, for the Nokia phones. I will leave a link in the description if you want to get it onto your device. All you do, uh, go to the Nokia page, say, put your IMEI in, and say you want it on your phone, and then it will like uh, come down via OTA. Uh, so yeah, hope you found the video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.